We have traveled all over Kenya to find hard-working farmers. We want to celebrate them while giving them the help they need to improve their farms, get better yields, and increase profits. We will see how farmers from across the region can benefit from our expert advice and learn from each other in so many ways. Join us on these journeys and share in the farmers' experiences as they shape up their shambas. Karibu to the Shamba Shepherd Safari. Hello and welcome to Shamba Shape Up. Today we're in Meru County and we are visiting Timothy and Josephine Itiri. For over one year they've been running the Itiri Dairy Farm. Not only that, Timothy also advises other farmers on dairy farming. But even on this Shamba, they could benefit from our experts' advice. Now, that's a challenge. Let's see what they can do. Timothy is married to Josephine. They live with their mothers, Salome and Sarah. They have three children at school. Let's go and meet them. Hi, Timothy. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome in Itiri Farm. Show us your farm. Please come over. All right. See what you're doing at Itiri Farm. All right. Timothy is a very successful dairy farmer. So much so that he provides training in dairy farming. Apart from cows, they grow bananas, caliandra for feed, maize, and coffee. A classroom? I didn't think we were going back to school. It looks familiar, doesn't it, Carol? Yeah. All the dairy farmers are to receive in Itiri farm. This is the place we host them for training. Oh, okay, we are going to do reverse roles. Now we are the teachers. Uh, Josephine, yes. what can we do for you? I've been using the, the whole Njikos. Chakos are very expensive. So, please teach me. Timothy, you are going to give us a challenge, yes. I think. Yes. So how can we help you? I would like to improve on calf rearing. We are ready. And before we start, I have a surprise for Caro. Caro, maybe you didn't know this, but I have a hidden talent. I'm an artist. Huh? It's going to be very quick. Can I look now? Wait, I'm, I'm finishing the hair. Ta -da! <laughs> That's Caro. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Time to pitch the tent and get ready for work. Caro. Yes, Tony. Timothy and Josephine's Shamba is doing quite well, mm -hmm. but they still need some help. And we've got lots of new ideas that we'd like to introduce them to. We want to see how a Mitsubishi pickup could help Timothy's farmers group. And I want to help Josephine with her kitchen. But this being a dairy farm, our first two experts are going to help out with the cows. And I'm going to find out how AI or artificial insemination can be used to help you breed the calf that you need. While well, I see to the feeding of the calf. That's good teamwork. All right. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's go. On the way to my first expert of the day, there was some very good news. The soil test results have arrived. Before growing any crops, it's important to find out how healthy your soil is. Then you know what fertilizers you need to use and if the soil needs liming. Getting the right balance of nutrients in the soil can make the difference between getting a poor harvest and a very good harvest. Aha! On this farm, the results show the soil is low in calcium and phosphorus, but high in magnesium. So, we need to lime add rock phosphate and a balanced NPK fertilizer. Let's find our farmer and give him the news. Our first expert is Patrick from Coopers. He's come to discuss artificial insemination, AI, with our farmer Timothy. Timothy runs the Itiri Dairy Farm and trains local farmers. So first, I wanted to know if Timothy had any advice for farmers thinking of taking up dairy farming. Actually, dairy farming, it's a real business. And I'm self-employed in dairy business. Okay. And I encourage other young men, other young women, let everybody come on board. There is money in dairy business. But surely, even Timothy has some problems. At times you serve the cow and it doesn't conceive. Mm -hmm. Maybe the experts can really tell us uh, what we should do. It's not only a challenge to him, but it's everywhere. Yes. Uh, that you have served my cow, it has not conceived. So the question is, what are the causes of uh, conception failures? Mm. And number one, there's a failure to detect it in time. Number two, if, if you lack the knowledge on uh, each cycles, 
you don't know when your cow should be coming on it, which is the right stage to serve your cow. That's also a major problem which happens to our farmers. Then number three, it's failure to keep accurate breeding records. When we say proper breeding records, yes. a farmer should be having such a record like the one we have here. When you put your details here for your cow, you will be able to predict when your cow will be on heat, okay? So, remember, learn how to tell when a cow is on heat, understand the heat cycle, keep good breeding records. But how do farmers know when a cow is on heat so that the cow can be inseminated successfully? Hmm, your cow will be restless, it will bellow often, give less milk, allow itself to be mounted and mount others, it will also have a swollen vulva and clear discharge. So it's uh, good for a farmer to understand which is the right stage to serve the animal. And that is the studying heat when your cow is mounted and it stands still. That's uh, the right time to call your AI provider and inseminate. Okay. That's nice. And to know when is the best time to inseminate, our expert has a special rule to follow. You should apply the AM PM rule. What is that? AM PM rule is if your cow comes on heat in the morning hours, it should be served in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Oh. If it comes on heat in the afternoon, it should become AM yeah. PM rule. rule. Okay? I love that. Mm -hmm. The study heat lasts for average 15 to 18 hours. Okay. So when a farmer understands all those issues, at least he will not have uh, those issues of uh, conception uh -huh. failure. All right. Okay? But what else should the farmer look out for? If your cow loses weight, body weight, before insemination or after insemination, embryonic development fails, the bond of the mother fails to recognize the pregnancy. And that means the conception fails. Oh, wow. uh, the right thing as a farmer ensure that your cow is in good body condition, uh -huh. stimulate well before calving, before calving uh -huh. and continue feeding it well. If it's not getting the right nutrients, the right minerals, and in good quantity, which will result to conception failure. Okay. Those are key issues a farmer should understand. When choosing a bull for insemination, use a catalog such as CRV from Coopers to get semen for your cow based on what you will use the calf for. Go through various traits on what you want to improve on your animals. I know many farmers currently go for high milk production. Mm -hmm. yes. There are others, maybe your cow is too long or too short, you want to breed it into average size. Poor leg sets, poor hand attachments, mm -hmm. all those ones you'll get bulls which can correct all those problems with your cow. And we as coopers, we have CRV genetics, and this one can suit every farmer to meet his breeding objective. Wow. That's nice. nice. You can be sure the products from Coopers, yes. they are the best. Uh -huh. They are the best. Uh -huh. I've used them. Yes. In fact, I have a, have a testimony of a, a naifa uh -huh. that I've served at 16 months of wow. age. Wow. So, it's a quality product. The advice Timothy got from Caro and our experts from Coopers is sure to help him breed many more calves. So, I wanted to make sure when the calves are born, they stay healthy and grow into big, strong cows. I have an expert from Unga with a new product that will not only do that, it will also increase his milk production too. First, let's find out how Timothy manages his newborn calves. Once the calf is born, the first thing we do, we have to get the weight of the young calf. Then within the first two hours immediately after calving, we must ensure that the calf has taken enough colostrum. Explain to me, what is colostrum? Colostrum is the first milk that comes from the mother of the calf. And this is very important for the young calf to take within the first two hours. Two liters in the morning, two liters at noon, and two liters in the evening. Mm -hmm. For how long does this continue? For the first three months. And once the calf has attained two times of the birth weight, then we start winning. Giving a newborn calf colostrum or its mother's milk is important as it helps the calf not to get sick. But giving milk to the calf for more than three months prevents the farmer from selling the milk, which means lower profits. 
Timothy, what if there was a product that could save your milk instead of feeding it to the calf, it goes to the market? How do you feel about that? That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It will boost my production of the milk. It will improve my income. Do you have the product? Yes, Tony. See, it's called Spray4. What is Spray4? Ah, Spray4 is a calf milk replacer that we want our farmers to start giving other than giving milk. A newborn calf only needs colostrum for three days. So, from day four, Spray4 can be given to replace the mother's milk. This not only means the milk can be sold, but also Spray4 is good for the calf too and helps it grow well. You know, we are targeting a, a very high growth rate of around 400 to 700 grams a day. So if the animal is not able to consume a lot because you're giving the mother's milk that has a lot of fat, you'll not be able to achieve the average daily gain that you need from your calf. The problem with having milk that has a lot of fat that you're feeding to a calf is because you realize that milk goes to coat the digestive system. This means that we are occupying volume that could have actually been occupied by feed. Wilfred, yes. how does Timothy use spray for? So we start introducing uh, the calf milk replacer, which is spray for, from, this, uh, from day four. So we are saying uh, you're actually supposed to feed at least three times in a day at a temperature that the calf can actually consume because we are basically replacing milk. Mix 300 grams of spray for powder in two liters of warm water. Feed the calf two liters three times a day. How does a farmer uh, feed the calf the spray for? The technique for feeding is actually very important. When we feed our calves, we remember that the stomachs of the, of the calf are actually not fully developed. So what we want to avoid is a scenario where the calf milk replacer actually goes into the rumen. Remember the rumen is the first stomach of the calf and it is not yet developed. And you actually realize you experience problems that include diarrhea. Remember when the calf is born, the way it circles from the mother, it's the same way we want to start feeding. So we want the calf to actually face upwards when it takes uh, the milk. Water can be provided at a lower level, but when you feed milk, we want to feed milk from a higher level, you know, above the head. This ensures that the milk actually goes straight to the last stomach we call the abomasum. This is where absorption takes place of the, of the replacer. A cow has four stomach parts. It doesn't matter how a calf drinks water, but if a calf drinks milk and has his head facing down, the milk goes to the wrong part of the stomach and the calf can get diarrhea. To avoid diarrhea, always feed a calf milk with his head facing upwards. With the head lifted, the milk goes direct to the correct part of the stomach. I was not surprised to find out that Timothy already has a solution for this. In our farm, we have titty buckets that we normally use to feed our calves. And wow. here it is. And we normally have it placed above the level mm -hmm. so that the calf can feed when the hand is up once. That's nice. Uh, That's yeah. good. This is what we are encouraging our farmers to actually use in their farms. Mm -hmm. And this helps, uh, you know, the farmer avoiding the, those scenarios that we have problems with cows that are actually have a lot of diarrhea. Yes. And as you can see from Timothy's farm, he doesn't have those problems. So feeding the right, uh, the right product spray for and using the right technique is the way to go. I think I would like to know whether the spray for is available in the market. Unga has a wide distribution network across the country. So you're going to be able to actually get your spray for at the closest shop next to you. You've heard from our experts, good, good management of your calves, proper feeding, good housing, and using spray four will get your calves to be very, very healthy. Wow. So, we found out how to manage lactating cows and how to feed your calf. But on this shamba, Timothy is a real expert. Yes, and we've asked him to share his top tip for farming. The hand advice I would like to give to my colleague farmers is to make use of maize silage. The energy level of maize silage is very high, which is a big boost to our cows. And in our farm, we have maize silage that can carry us even the next three years. Let us concentrate on maize silage for our dairy cows. Good fodder, healthy cows. Now, coming up after the break, Mitsubishi L200. And cooking with a new improved Chico. Welcome back to Shamba Shape Up. 
We are in Meru County and you are visiting Timothy and Josephine. We've seen how to do artificial insemination and calf feeding. But we also want to find out about transport and clean cook stoves. So, no time to waste. Let's get back to work. Timothy is a member of a farmer's group and we've asked him to bring along some of the members to take a look at Simba Corp's Mitsubishi L200 pickup. We are thinking a group of farmers could easily join together and share the cost. Then they can share in the benefits too. A truck like this can have so many uses around the farm. I must say I've been looking forward to seeing the truck myself. Let's go and find what this is all about. Timothy, yes. thank you so much for organizing the farmers thank you so to much. come here. Farmers, are you happy? Yes. Are you happy to be here? Yeah. Do you like the car? Yeah. Wonderful. What I have for you today is the L200 double cab. This is a sports utility truck. It's multi-purpose. You can use it for leisure. At the same time, you can use it to carry for the farmers your produce from the farm maybe. To the market. Uh -huh. Now this is a diesel engine, we are talking of a 2500cc diesel. So you can imagine of the power you're having. Comes with the leather interior seat, it's an automatic vehicle, though we also have the manual version. Now when we come to the cabin, it's a deeper cabin than any other double cab. Wow, wow. Now farmers, if you had such a vehicle, what did you use it for? Timothy? I mean, this one is very beautiful. I'd use it to carry my fodder from my cows to the farm. And you, madam? I would use it for going to church uh -huh. and carrying milk to the dairy. Milk and church? <laughs> That's nice. Because it's a four-wheel drive. The weather is at times it's raining, so it's a nice one and it's a good model. I love it. Would you use it to go to the disco? At times. <laughs> <laughs> Their needs actually suit what the vehicle is for. And as the chairman of a cooperative society, how can I purchase this car? You can come together as a cooperative society, then we can see how to get the car on loan. You walk into our showroom, we will invite the asset finance officer, then he's going to give you options on how you can acquire the vehicle. As a dairy farmer, mm -hmm. I would like to know how is the rate of consumption on fuel? To give you an estimate, 10 to 11, that is kilometers to the liter. Can I get a cover and car to help me to take my produce, like cabbages, to the market? What happens, there is something called a canopy. It comes all the way up to this height, eh? and it's enclosed. That one gives you enough space to even carry more. To I get the spare part tissery? Yeah, as Simba called Motors, eh? we have branches countrywide. What is the warranty, Canada, that you give me, get this vehicle from your company? We give three years or 100,000 kilometers. So that is covered. All you need is to contact us and we'll come get the vehicle and it's going to be sorted out. So now, Timothy, yes. do you want to go for a test drive? Really? Uh -huh. much ready, I you like can't to... wait. Go get in. All right. <laughs> the Mitsubishi L200 has many uses around the farm. It can carry animal feeds and transport milk to market. It has four-wheel drive and high ground clearance to handle rough terrain. It's economical with safety features such as airbags and anti-skid brakes. But more than all this, it feels like a saloon car and looks just great. Well, Timothy looks convinced. Our final job for today is to sort out the kitchen. I can see there's a lot of smoke coming out of the chimney. Josephine must be really suffering in there. Oh, so let's see what we can do. Ah, Purity. Yes. I think we're just in time to eat lunch yes. eh, made I'm by super. Josephine. Josephine, what are you making? I'm uh, making ungari for lunch. So uh, you're using the jiko? Yes. Maybe if you could tell us the challenges you face when you use the jiko. Uh, when I don't have money to buy chaku, mm. that is one challenge. This one out, I have to look for something so that I can lift it mm. because it is very hot. Yes. And it, it takes a lot of time to cook. For example, in the evenings, mm -hmm. I must prepare very hard mm -hmm. because it cooks very slowly. You can see now I'm still waiting for the water to boil. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. How much does charcoal cost? I buy at 1500 per sack. 15 per sack. Yes, that is 1,500 purity. Yes. And you use that for roughly how long? 
for one month mm -hmm. with that supplement of the firewood. Aha. So if I don't mm. use firewood, it will take me for just two weeks. I even feel for her. Mm -hmm. I can see a very big challenge here. I can see it's worn out. It is cooking slowly. Mm -hmm. I can see she's even placed it on a wooden stool, mm -hmm. but she has to put something yes. below the G because it doesn't burn the surface. Yes. I also believe for this kind of a stove, eh, it's not burning the charcoal very efficiently. Yes. So when there's wastage for her, that is why she's buying a lot of charcoal every mm -hmm. other time. Mm -hmm. And again, this jiko emits a lot of carbon monoxide. Uh -huh. So she needs a lot of air. So she will need to cook when the door is open. open. And, the windows. and the windows are also uh -huh. open. Most of the women who cook on this kind of a jiko, uh -huh. they complain that they're having headaches. Yeah. They are, they are yes. feeling dizzy. Do you yeah. feel that? Yes. You feel I that? Know. So yes. it's also a health hazard for her and her family. Right. Yeah. How dangerous is it? The current statistics tell us that over 10,000 women and children die every year out of indoor air pollution. And this is one cause of the indoor air pollution. Normally in the evenings I have a headache, but I didn't know the, the cause of the, the problem. And you know in the evening it becomes worse because you have to close the door and maybe you have to close the windows, the windows so it becomes worse. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a risk for her. So I'm going to invite my colleague Stanley to come and bring us the new Jiko, the surprise for her. So ah. she does not need to use this one anymore. Hey. Wow. Yeah. I'm also so anxious to see it. I'm also Ooh. excited. It's good you visited me <laughs> and see what we are undergoing. Now we can put the old Jiko out of the way and make some space for the new Jiko. Stanley has been preparing it outside. It just takes a few minutes to light and it's ready for cooking. Already I can see it needs far less fuel than the old Jiko. Stanley, come in, come in, come in. Let's see what Josephine has to say about this. I hope she'll be pleased. Uh, it's really lighting very well. Yeah. Do you like the new chicken? <laughs> now I can see you are going to eat this very soon. Yeah. The water is now boiling. Yes. You see it's hotter than the other one. You can even feel eh? Yeah. This is your new Jiko. And it's called Jikokoa. Jikokoa. And the reason why we call it jikokoa mm. is because one, it saves you money by the fact that it uses less charcoal as compared to your other jiko. Mm. So this, this one is supposed to cut down your cost of charcoal by 50%. 50? Yes. So I'll be using 750 per month. Can you imagine? You see? How You've already done your ma mathematics. So that means mm. you can now have extra money to spend on other things. You can pay school fees, you can buy for extra my clothes children. for your mm. children, you can even take them out. The second thing why we call it Jikokoa is that it also saves you time. Tell us, Good. tell us more about this Jiko. Mm. So the first thing is that the Jiko is made of steel and stainless steel, mm -hmm. meaning it will not rust mm -hmm. and it will last for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Unlike your old Jiko where you were putting on a, mabati. On a mabati, <laughs> this one you don't need to do that. So you can put it directly on your table, and you can put it burn. on the floor, yes. even on your carpet, it mm -hmm. will not burn the surface that you're using. Mm -hmm. Then it also comes with really nice handles. When you're carrying the jiko, you don't get to burn your fingers, yes. unlike yes. the other one when you had to use the, the, the papers yes. to hold your jiko. So this one, you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Then it also comes with the door to regulate the air going in, mm -hmm. so that when you need high temperatures, like now, your door is slightly open. Mm -hmm. When you need to, re to reduce the temperatures, then you can close your door mm -hmm. and your temperatures goes down. Mm -hmm. When you're done cooking, then you can pull out your ashtray, mm -hmm. go and empty the ash. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that you stay alone in the kitchen, you don't have to do that headache. with a lot of headache. Mm -hmm. So Jikokoa reduces the carbon emission. Mm -hmm. So in the evening when it's cold, you can close your door, but uh, make sure that your window is open just to allow ventilation, ventilation. Into, the, into the house. Yeah. So Purity, you want to tell me from today, I'm going to say bye to Panandos. Yes. And to hospitals. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm very happy. So let's wait for the ugali. <laughs> very soon we are, we are eating ugali. Ah. Well, that's another happy farmer. And I can't wait to try her ugali. But first, it's time to meet up at the tent and find out what our farmers thought of their shape up. Ah, wow, Carol, did you enjoy the shape up today? You can see the look on my face. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a digitalized meal? In that short time? In that short time. Wow. What la. do you expect when you're using a digitalized jiko? Now, tell me, how did you enjoy the shape up? I think I'm now better on calf rearing. Mm -hmm. I'm now a better farmer. By next year, 
I shouldn't be producing over 300 liters of milk per day. Uh -huh. This is encouraging. Before you came, I was using the, the two njikos, chaku and the, the other one for the firewood. Yes. But now, I'm sure I'll be cooking within a few minutes with one chico. So are you happy now? I'm not the, the mother you knew before. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm a digitalized mother. Wow. <laughs> and I'll wow. tell other women about it. You too can feel happy and learn a lot in your shamba by using our call center. Irani, we can't live like this. What is it now? Your chicken making too much noise at night. I can't sleep and you know I have a sleeping problem. Ah, the chicken gave me a hard time all night. They have diarrhea, their heads are looking down. They, you know, they look like something else. Ah, boy, you know I even thought it was the cat disturbing you. Let's go, let me go and have a look. <coughs> the diarrhea is serious. Yeah, sometimes it is water, sometimes it is blood. Bloody diarrhea. And my tomatoes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. They look like they want me to have mercy on them. You now have the answers to all these problems you're, in, uh, you're experiencing. Eh? I can tell your chicken has coccidiosis. Eh? And your tomatoes have fusarian wilt. Cocky, cocky, cocky. Coccidiosis. W where, where did you run all this? Simple. iShamba. Sign up to iShamba Premium to receive agri-tips, market prices, web updates, and get access to our call center and WhatsApp groups for 899 shillings a year. SMS the word premium to 21606. We shouldn't be calling you mm -hmm. and long again for to see you in our farm again. Aha. Yes. Then I'll draw Caro again. No, yeah. no, no. Well, our work here is done <laughs> and we'll see you <laughs> in, in the next nice Shamba. Jikokoa by Ban is the proud sponsor of Shamba Shape Up. With Jikokoa, the modern charcoal Jiko, you can get a taste of cleaner, healthier, and safer cooking for your family. This clean Jiko uses 50% less charcoal, which can save you up to 18,000 shillings a year. Jiko Koa gives out 50% less smoke and is the healthy option for your family. Now you'll be cooking with a smile. Get the easy to use Jiko by sending an SMS to 22876. Jiko Koa, the life saving Jiko. Let's get this show on the road with Simba Corp's all new Mitsubishi L200 pickup. Simba Corp also offers the Mahindra Bolero, the milk body, and Same tractors for all your family. They also have Uso trucks for the middle and large scale farmer, which provides excellent harvesting transport support. Simba Corp is proud to work with Shamba Shepherd, who are driving change in the agriculture sector. If you'd like more information, contact us on 0703 046 000.